Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and today we will see the best free alternatives for monday.com and since monday.com helps us with the project management and all the other aspects to help us become more productive and this helps us save more time and we are able to do more stuff in that save time. So I will just show you around more than 5 alternatives of monday.com and they are quite similar. There are some features that might be more than monday.com and there might be some features that are not available or are not as same as monday.com. But the fundamental structure of all these apps are almost similar. So let's get started with it. And the first one is Trello. It is quite simple and easy to use and it is quite easy to create account on it. And account creation process is almost similar in all these apps. So what you have to do is just open up your browser and then search for a particular platform like Trello, Monday.com or any other that I will be showing you around. Just search for them and open up the first link that you will see in the Google search results, which is basically the official or the homepage of that platform. And after that, all you have to do is just sign up for a new account and provide the right details as it is asked on that particular platform and the correct information will lead you to a better uh, templates for you to manage different projects so make sure that you provide the correct information of your organization or your personal self after that you will be able to just create an account on it and the same way you can create account with Trello and in Trello, you will be able to see your workspaces and under your workspaces, you will be able to manage different projects. And there are two projects on my workspace as of now. The first one is different Nazaria and the second one is how to mentor. And if you want to create one more, then we can just simply create, click on this option of plus and we will be able to manage one more project on Trello itself. So all we have to do is just click on a particular project over here and then go to the board section. And here you will be able to find a different boards. We can create one and I have already created one board for this particular project and it is related to project management of a YouTube channel. So this is how it will look like and we can add members to a particular project by going into the member section and here we can just click on plus section and invite people to join our team on that particular project. So let's explore this board for now. I will be just showing you around and explaining different stuff related to one or two platforms. After that, I will just tell you the name of it and a brief introduction of the other platforms. So on Trello, after you open up the board, this is how it will appear. We can completely customize it as per our project requirements. And all we have to do is just click on this option and we will be able to see different options for us. A list will appear. And we can just change the name of this like if it is to do list or done or something like that you can just change them appropriately and also we can just add cards to it like in YouTube if you want to make videos we need different topics so all the topics will be added over here so the person who is researching for topics will add the topics over here by clicking on this option of add card and they will be able to add different topics and when we click on a particular card this is how it will appear then we can add more comments to it and add information about it like the keywords that we will be using in that particular uh, video or the title of that video we can also add different attachments to it we can add dates to it and we can assign that particular task to different member by clicking on this option of members and this is how we will be able to manage our whole team using this particular platform and when we are done with the topic and we need to research on it like a script on it then we can just move it forward and this is how we can just see the progress of our tasks being done on Trello and when the person who is researching and is scripting for this is done then they can just move it to record section and this is how it will go to the stock and then we will be able to publish it and when everything is done we can add label to it like video is done and in the similar manner, we can edit it and name different color to different stages of our process. And this way we will be able to recognize it by just looking at it like in what particular stage our project is. So this is how we can go about it using Trello. Now let's move on with our another platform, which is Asana. And it is quite easy to use. And all you have to do is just create an account. And after that, 
this is how the home page will appear we can just customize it according to our needs and requirements we can add our priorities over here like the most prioritized task can be seen on the home page itself so we are uh, like constantly realized that these are the tasks that needs to be done on urgent basis and our projects will also be seen over here we can just simply click on this option of our project and open it up we can create new projects from our home itself and if you want to see all your tasks related to a particular project then you just have to click on this option of my tasks and all the tasks related to you will appear over here then you will be able to just do them accordingly inbox is as similar as other platforms and being a project manager you can just simply click on reports and see the team's work or how your team is working around by just going into this option of reporting and you will be able to see in real time how your team is performing on different projects that you have assigned to them so this is how uh, asana works and in the my workspace section you will be able to see different projects that you are associated with you can invite people to your workspaces or your projects and it is quite easy to use now let's move on with our next platform and it is called smart sheet all you have to do is just search for a smart sheet on google and get an account on it after that this is how it will appear currently i have two uh, templates that i have been working on and we can create one more and in the notification section suppose you have added a particular date to a, your task like it, this needs to be completed by 21st 27th uh, like this then notifications will appear here and remind you that there is a task that need to be completed and then you can just start working on that particular task so this is how it will work and in the browse section you will be able to browse all your workspaces over on this smart sheet and here you will find all your projects you just have to click on them and start working on them so when we click on youtube so this is how it will appear where then we need to just click on this option of task sheet and this is how it will appear and we can just move around the topics just the way we did on trello because we are on board view card view basically and we can change it to grid view we can change the view according to our preferences it is quite easy to change and we can add more cards by just clicking on this plus icon and it is quite easy to use and if you want to uh, use uh, some different template then you can just go to this option of solution center just click on it and here you just need to type the uh, task and click enter and after that all the task related templates will appear over here you can just choose them accordingly or you can just type another keyword over here and press enter in order to see templates related to that particular keyword this way you will be able to find a pre-made uh, template of um, your requirements and then choose that particular template and work around it and you have full freedom to make changes to a particular template so you can just customize it as per your needs and your requirements and you will be able to invite your team and work with your whole team and manage it quite efficiently let's see how we can use a template over here and for that just uh, select any of it and a preview of that particular template will appear as soon as you click on it and this is how this particular template looks like when we click on this one it will be changed and this is how this one appears and all we have to do is just click on this option of use in order to use that particular template so let's use this one wait for it to load and this is it now just click on over here and this is how it will appear now we can just make changes to it according to our needs we can change the dates we can change everything over here just double click on it and we can make changes to it and this is how we do it by clicking on ok so these are some best alternatives of monday.com now let's see some more but in a brief time so the next one is basecamp here you just need to just open up your account and use it and another one is click up and the next one is zira if you are uh, into some technical uh, projects or related to softwares then zira might be the best option available for you and the next one is rike and this is how it will appear all you have to do is just create account on it and use it for free and these were some best alternatives for monday.com 
I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos.